Marshall McLuhan is practically a household wor word in this uh, television conscious society. He's from the University of Toronto, of course. The author of a book called The Medium is the Message. And he came to New York last night so that he could watch the debates, watch them not so much from a policy point of view, but from a television point of view. The glorious moment was the rebellion of the medium against the bloody message. The medium finally rebelled against the most stupid arrangement of any debate in the history of debating. Why was it stupid? Not from a the, political... By scripting point of view. Mm -hmm. the, the characters who had arranged that debate and scripted every aspect of it had no understanding of TV. And they didn't even know that TV is not a debating medium. Mm -hmm. And they had arranged it as if it were a newspaper set up or a radio set up. They had no awareness of TV. With the breakdown in the technology, the audience finally got into the act. Well, Professor McLuhan, if this debate had been arranged by people who, in your view, knew you know, and understood television, how would it have been done? Well, now, this would take quite a while to explain, but it, it would be much closer to what we're doing right here, chatting casually, spontaneously, without a script, and paying attention to what is being said. What those men said last night was merely to hold the, the audience on the image. It didn't matter at all what was said last night. The, the image was what mattered, and as anything that could hold the attention on the image was all that mattered, from the point of view of the arrangers. Well, it, you are the uh, proponent, of course, that television is a cool medium. Yes. Both candidates last night were programmed and costumed yes, and made uh, up precisely. Had, had either candidate uh, dared to present a policy, it would have destroyed his image. Was one more cool than the other from a purely no, television point No, they're, they're both uh, in a, sort of, uh, uh, a state of panic cool. They were terrified mm -hmm. of making a false step. And well, uh, they, they, they're, they're quite rightly so. Because why shouldn't they be terrified? Exactly. After all, why shouldn't they have all of these conditions on a yeah. television debate when they're running yeah. for the highest office but and they want to control with the, the environment? With the breakdown in the mechanism, there was the wonderful revelation of all the characters who had scripted the show. They came out into the open like the, something out of the woodwork and revealed that a stupid show had been put together very carefully and by people who had no idea of what the TV medium is about. W would you argue, Professor McLuhan, that <coughs> the candidates would be better off not to debate than to debate in the manner in which they of did? Of course. The candidates... They, they were standing in press-the-pants barrels uh, looking absolutely like some ca straight-jacketed characters and uh, absolutely the hottest type of medium you could imagine. Everything that the scripters and arrangers had done was hot stuff. They had no idea of what the TV medium is made of. Professor McLuhan, you think that this medium is the future, that this is how society will be shaping its opinions and so on. That is the present. Is the present which and is, the future. Which is also the future. Mm. <laughs> but why do you continue to print books and write books? This is a, an, an outlet, and uh, you might as well ask, why does somebody continue to make chewing gum? And it's, uh, it's an outlet for various activities. But I've never been against the book, for heaven's sake. I'm a professor of literature. I, I teach books from morning till night.